Hey everybody, John with Owl Vans. I wanna show you a little trick today about off-road jacks. We get a lot of people asking us, hey, you know, I've got my van lifted, I've got off-road tires, and I like to go off-road or I like to go on fire trails and get off the beaten path, and what jack should I carry? Should I use a high lift? Should I use a Pro Eagle? And those are fantastic options. You run into a little bit of problem with a high lift as far as where you can mount it unless you go with, um, you know, some structural running boards, uh, uh, rock sliders, etc. But I'm actually stealing this idea from Van Compass, give credit where credit is due. Uh, they have a way of using the factory bottle jack, which is in here, with this, which is a platform uh, for a high lift jack. And what you can do is modify this to take the bottle jack. It raises it up a little bit, gives a stable platform uh, so that you can jack the vehicle. Uh, here's the legal ease. Do all of these things at your own risk. Always be smart when you're jacking a vehicle. This is kind of a trail technique. It is probably not safe. You will likely kill yourself and I'm not to blame. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's show you how to um, how to do this. So you get one of these, you can get these off of Amazon fairly cheaply. I think it was under 30 bucks. A lot of you may not know this. Sorry, I'm switching hands here. A lot of you may not know this, but you might wanna know where the tools are on your vehicle. In here, uh, under these things is where the, um, tow hook on the van is there's a little wrench in there i think there's one other thing i'll run around to the front actually i can't show you on my van because i have a hammerhead anyway there's a tow hook on your van if you ever need recovery point you don't have a hammerhead back in here about right there on your factory bumper you'll see a little cutout that's where the factory tow hook goes should you need to get a recovery point jack this if i can do this with one hand is a little compartment you may not have even known it's here and this is where your factory bottle jack lives this let me get this out let me see if i can prop you somewhere here look at me from this weird angle all right there's a bottle jack there's a handle so the way this works i should have planned this better <laughs> let me try to sneak this in here you to stay phone oh look at that oh you see those pretty showman seats product placement all right so van compass very smartly figured out that this works really well right in this high lift jack what you have to do is this little section here actually uh hits the side i don't know if you can see that see how it hits the side right there if it's vertical so what we're going to do is we're just going to take like a little dremel or a saw and trim away there's plenty of ways you can do this you can drill a bunch of holes with a drill and then kind of knock it out or use uh, drill a bunch of holes using an X-Acto blade or if you have better tools like a Dremel or something and Dremel out. Basically what we're gonna do is just cut a little relief here and then that's gonna allow you to use this uh, bottle jack, the factory bottle jack that already resides in your footwell with this platform to jack the vehicle up and down. Also, a little side note while I'm talking to you, the factory lugs on a Sprinter are 19s. Many of the aftermarket lugs on a Sprinter are 17s. So. It's always good to have a toolkit or a tool roll in your van, but always make sure that you have at minimum uh, sockets for 17 and sockets for a 19, just in case you know, never know, uh, or many people don't know what they actually have on their van. So that's my little uh, disclaimer there. So I'm gonna modify this and then we'll show you the end result. All right, we are now inside the shop. It's a little bit quiet here. It's a Friday afternoon and most of the gang has gone home. It's very seldom quiet in here. It's kind of nice actually. Um, all right, we've got, your bottle jack, which is no light object, and you've got the high lift plate. So what I'm gonna do is actually justify this to the edge and to the corner, because I think that'll be the most stable platform. And so then I'm gonna mark it with a sharpie. What I'm doing is just kind of figuring out how much I wanna trim. So basically we wanna go down to in here, you've got this level here, so you're gonna to want to trim this all the way down to kind of meet where those ribs come up. So that's roughly about that height. And so I will mark how much of this I need to clear out. I don't wanna clear out this rib. That's a pretty good support. So I'm gonna use that as my mark line. So come down from there. And then here's the other kind of end line there. And then we're just gonna draw this, connect them. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm really quite talented. <laughs> All right, so that is my freehand notch that we're going to cut out. So what I'm probably going to do is take a 
portable bandsaw and trim this down and trim that down and then I may come across or maybe a jigsaw. We'll see what works. I may end up using a drill and some small holes. Uh, let's find out. What I'm doing here is I just cut both sides. I cut down an angle now or cut back across. All right, that's pretty good. Let me see if I can clean that up. What I'm doing now is I'm going to take an exact, uh, an exacto or a blade and just kind of Shave this down, being very careful. It's a really good way to cut yourself. Just gonna shave this plastic down in a couple of spots. I mean, I'm sure it would work as it is right now, but I don't know, I like stuff to look good. And also take down any kind of sharp edges. Always make sure to cut away from you. As I cut towards me. <laughs> What do they say? Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Story of my life. Man, that's really nice fit. That fits absolutely perfectly. All right, we're gonna take this down a little more right here. And I think we're in business. That right there, my friends is perfect that is a job done look at that i think fits like a glove it almost picks it fits so snugly you can almost pick the thing up with it look at that nice and solid put your jack arm in here put this on something solid like an axle and the look at this thank you germans shows you the exact points where you should jack Please don't destroy your spinner by jacking it on something you shouldn't. Also, spinner, never jack on the diff. That diff cover is, is I don't know if it's, I think it's thin sheet metal, but um, easy to bend it. Don't jack on the diff. All right, so we're going to put the ball jack back. This works now, and good reason to get outside storage. This is going to go with all my recovery gear in the box on my B2 on the back of my van. I put the bottle jack back in the van. Now I'm back here at my B2. And open this up. I have to do everything one-handed with you all. I feel like it's really helping with my left-handedness. In case anyone ever wondered what's in my box, that's what's in my box. What do I actually have in here? Up here is a tool roll. Really, really important. Have tools. <laughs> if you're going off-road or getting, the whole point of a van is to get off-grid, get isolated have some tools. This is part of some Anderson leveling blocks. These things are fantastic. If you've never used them before, the way these things work, and I can do another video on this, but basically these slide in under the tire and then you just continue to back up, back up, and you can get all the way up to here. I don't know what that is, up three and a half inches uh, high. And the reason I love these is you, you don't have to like get up onto leveling blocks that someone has to like hold and then it's kind of sketchy these you roll up on really easily very good if you're solo these work really well this is an octopus for inflating tires this is a small stool for uh reaching high things or getting bikes on and off in here i have more tools etc and then down here recovery gear but cool thing about a box this can now just go right in like this and now we don't think about it and that's how you do an off-road jack on a Sprinter for about 30 bucks.